hello guys welcome back to fashion for queens welcome back my lovely subscribers thank you so much for being here if you are new to this channel you're welcome please don't leave without subscribing and turn on your notification bell so you get notified when we post new tutorials like this video if you enjoy it drop a comment down below on the comment section so straight to the tutorial i've already cut out my waist length or my half length so i'm working with the back first so we're going to cut the back first before we go on to the front so simply i'll just simply go ahead and cut out my back piece but remember to add your zip allowance at the back so that's what i'm doing now so add your zip allowance first before you go straight to take your actual measurement so i'll just go ahead and take the measurement and cut it out and show you guys so this is the back piece i've cut it out now so next thing i'm going to cut out my shoulder slope i won't cut out my neck yet for the back i'll just cut out my shoulder slope so that i can be able to take this and place on another fabric and cut out the double cross neck in front so i'll take this piece and place it on top of another piece so i've placed it on top of another piece of fabric now so this is for the front we're going to be cutting the front so as you can see I left some space in the front in the center front so this space is for the double cross neck so I'm going to measure it out for you to see this is about seven inches you can leave from five to seven inches depends on how low you want your neck to be so I'm just going to go ahead and trace out the armhole and the sides and then the shoulder slope and then come and also cut go ahead to cut the neck so this is a stretchy fabric and the fabric is kind of hiding the chalk so i hope you guys follow the tutorial so you're able to see what i'm doing so the next thing i'm going to be marking from this point where we got our shoulder slope so all the way to the end all the way to the end of the fabric so i'll just take my ruler and connect it from this point to the shoulder point so it's a straight cut it's a straight cut them um, double cross neck you can make your somehow curved depends on how you want your neckline to be so i'm just doing a straight cut double cross so by the time we cut it like this i'm going to open it up to show you how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to look like gonna place one on the other and there we have our double cross neck so that's pretty much it for the front we are going to now go over to the lower part of the dress so first of all i cut out the back also for the skirt part of the dress so i'll use the back and place it on another piece of fabric to get the front so let me just remove one part of the fabric since we are done cutting the back so i'm going to use this now to cut the front so for the front i cut a, a, a bit of extra fabric the front fabric is longer than the back so this is the front then this is the back piece i cut so you can see the difference okay let me use this one so remember that we added a zip allowance to the back of the skirt too so you might want to shift um, the, the part the zip allowance part so you won't add extra measurements to your skirt so you can see the difference uh, you're going to cut your front part longer 10 inches or more longer it depends on how full you want your fringes to be so i added 10 inches plus one same allowance so that's what we have so i'm just going to go ahead to trace out the side measurements the waist and the hip and then go just cut it straight down So I'll just go ahead and notch the center of this skirt. So I'm done with the back piece. I'm just going to be keeping it once aside now. 
and then i'll notch the center of the skirt so it's very important to notch so you know where you're going to be sewing from so this is the front piece so from the center i notched here i will not i'll be taking three inches that is where my side fringes are going to be that is where my ruffles is going to be from these three inches i'm marking now so i'm going to notch it and keep it aside so next thing we're going to be fixing we're going to be fix making our ruffles and then fixing it to our upper part of the dress so remember guys i've already not sure we're going to fix where we're going to pleat on or what we're going to ruffle on so i'm just going to take my ruler and then show you guys how we're going to ruffle this of of course this is the measurement remember we took the measurement so turn the back of the dress on that place we notched on that place we notched get your ruler and mark a straight line make sure that it is straight So we want to make sure that it is straight even if you, you cannot you may not see my chalk my lines very well but just know that we are match, marking a straight line from the place we notched till the end of the skirt so we're going to do it all the way down so as you can see i have my half inch elastic which i'm going to use now so while sewing is you're going to draw your elastic as much as possible while sewing the more you draw it the more your fabric is going to gather up the more it's going to ruffle up so you might want to take your time to do it God, you stretch your elastic as much as possible when you stretch they gather up when you stretch they gather up so that is how it's going to be so i'm just going to go and do it now so look at it guys i have done mine as you can see it looks all nice and lovely and so by the time you're by the time you're st add stitching the front and the back you're just going to trim off the excesses on the side so the front length will match the back length and so i'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and then finish up my dress and show you how it looks like so this is it guys that's what we have at the end of the day thank you guys so much for watching i hope you like and enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and please subscribe if this is your first time thank you and see you on the next one